This is a Ramping Up Your English book review. Are you looking for outstanding photography and a way to strengthen your English vocabulary? You'll have both in Seymour Simon's Book of Trains from HarperCollins Publishers. Each time you turn a page in this book, you're treated to world-class photography. One page features a train switching yard in Portland, Oregon. Most pages have written information about the picture you're enjoying and about trains in general. You'll encounter the precise vocabulary of train terminology. You'll also encounter language forms like present tense verbs and prepositional phrases. You'll see how objects are used to describe things by listing their parts. Mostly, though, you'll enjoy learning more about trains and about the various cars on the train. You're also likely to find the reading level understandable. Seymour Simon's Book of Trains is a beautiful book that offers an enjoyable way to learn more about trains. You'll have to get your own copy. I'm too attached to mine. For Ramping Up Your English, I'm John Letts. Welcome back to Ramping Up Your English, a support program for intermediate level English learners who want to improve their English proficiency. If that's you, you're in the right place. This is segment two of episode 10. In an earlier episode, I urged, I urged English learners to be sure they're solid in the early intermediate skill of using basic sequencing words. I demonstrated sequencing in the steps of a science experiment. Today, we're going to sequence again, but this time we're sequencing the station stops on the Sunset Limited, and we're ramping up the sequencing words we'll use. Let's begin with the basics. The Sunset Limited begins its journey west in New Orleans, then goes to Shriver, then to New Iberia, then to Lafayette, finally to Lake Charles, before leaving Louisiana. This is a correct way of sequencing the stops of the Sunset Limited. Using the words then, next, and finally gets the job done. Now we can take this to a slightly higher level with some alternative words. We'll keep the first sentence very close to the previous example. The Sunset Limited begins its westward journey when it departs from New Orleans. Now we'll find alternatives from the overused words then and next. From there, it makes a brief stop in Shriver, followed by a stop in New Iberia. After that, the train continues to Lafayette and finally to Lake Charles, its last stop in Louisiana. Now there's not a tremendous difference between this wording and the wording in the previous example, but this subtle change notches up the level of English and avoids the overly used sequencing words. Now think of the footage of the train going through Crowley. Let's use sequencing words to put the passenger train cars in order. First, let's look at some choices we have for sequencing words. First, initially, ahead of, after that, behind, between, following, followed by, and finally. Here's a close activity. We're not testing your knowledge of passenger train cars. We're giving you that vocabulary. The trick will be to choose words from that list that will connect these cars, reflecting the order of the consist. Now, we're not looking for exact words in exact blanks. There are numerous combinations that would work here, but there's also some that won't. Now, here's this, what the sequence might look like. First are the two locomotives, followed by the baggage car. Behind the baggage car are the sleeping cars. Between the sleeping cars and the observation car is the dining car. Ahead of the coaches is the observation car, also called the sightseeing lounge car. Finally, the coaches make up the last cars of the consist. Notice we didn't use every word on the list. Also notice that there is more than one word that could correctly fill the blank. Try filling the blanks again using different words from the list, but be sure the overall sequencing is still correct. It's not about putting the right word in the right blank. It's about putting the train together in the right sequence without always using the same words. 
You'll find these exercises on my website along with the video clips you see in today's program. That's at letscreate.org. Go to the episode 10 page. Once you've done the exercise a time or two, see if you can sequence the cars then of the Sunset Limited from memory. The important thing is to use the words like these to describe an object by sequencing its parts. Next in the sequence of this show is a little look, another look at a legendary railroad and another video clip. We'll be back with that right after this. <music> 